In this chapter, we will have Lugon Fume Effect Simulation controlled by X particles. In previous chapters, I explained already how works fire, smoke, or redshift rendering. But Fume Effect supports also C4D particle system or X particles as well. So, as first step, I created simple X particle simulation. Amount of particles will strongly affect fume effects behavior and simulation details as well. Higher count of particles produce more interesting looking result, but also it impacts computer performance. Another reason why I am using as particle source X particles is that colors which produce X particle simulation I am able to use for fume effect simulation as well. Once is X particle simulation done, I can use this simulation as source for fume effect simulation. So as next step, I will use particle source. Particle source using very similar workflow like object source. So as first step, I have to be sure that particle system or emitter is inside the particles field. Now I have control over viewport visualization and radius value around particles as well. Lower radius value produce smaller sources with more visible breakup. Larger radius value produce more solid or blended looking source. For more interesting looking result, in this example we will use fire, smoke and color contribution as well. In color section, I can define ramp colors and source channel. And because X particle simulation contains also colors, which I would like to use as source channel, I will use X particles colors. This option ignores fume effects color ramp and allows me to use X particles colors instead. As next step, I need fume effect simulation grid. And as I mentioned already, size of simulation grid affects simulation time and computer performance. So be always sure that particle source is inside the simulation grid and also that spacing or voxel resolution contains value which produce reasonable simulation time. As next step for better demonstration, I will turn off X particles and particle source visibility. And I will run simulation now. What steps you have to do if you would like to see color contribution in 3D viewport, I explained already in previous chapter. And I used the same step for this example as well. So as you can see in 3D viewport now, smoke contains colors coming from X particle simulation. For better demonstration, I will hide fire part from 3D viewport. As you can see, smoke colors produce interesting looking result. As next step, I will show you how particle source radius affects result. And as you can see, amount of particles and particle source radius strongly affect simulation result. Amount of fuel and particles radius are in correlation. So as you can see, if you will find balance between these two parameters, it can produce interesting looking result. In previous chapter, I explained already how work simulation forces. So in this example, I will show you how simulation parameters affect the result. If I would like to simulate colors, I have to activate simulate color option. If I would like to control fire and smoke together, I have to control temperature parameters. So as example, if I will change temperature buoyancy, it will affect entire simulation. And as you can see now, fire and smoke 
much closer follow X particle simulation. Larger buoyancy values produce exactly opposite. As next step, I can also change gravity strength. It will produce lighter or heavier looking fluid simulation. And if I would like to change gravity direction, I have to use gravity force. It's similar workflow as I showed already in previous chapter with wind force. Also, fume effects allows me to control fire or smoke simulation parameters separately. So I have full control about both simulation parts exactly as I need. Fire burn rate helps with balance between smoke and fire. So if I would like to have different fire behavior, I can change ignition temperature burning process type or burn rate. As you can see, lower burn rate values produce more pronounced fire part of simulation and larger burn rate values produce exactly opposite. Another important parameter is fuel expansion. And as you can see, increasing of expansion value produce different looking smoke shape, so expansion can be very helpful. If I will lower expansion value, it will produce smaller looking smoke shape, so it's like another way how to control balance between fire and smoke. And as I explained already in Fume Effects Fire chapter, Huge impact on fire shape has burning process type. So in case that you need more advanced looking fire or flames, use model with oxygen option. In case that you would like to have different fluid buoyancy, but you already like fire shape, you can easily change only behavior of smoke part in smoke section. If you would like to have faster or slower smoke fade-off effect, you can change dissipation parameters. Next parameter is diffusion. If I will increase diffusion value, as you can see, it produces softer looking and less detailed smoke. Sharper parameters produce sharper looking smoke. So it's exactly opposite result compared with diffusion. But in case that I would like to see more detailed smoke, I'm using extra detail section instead sharpening. Here I can choose mode for extra details. As example, I will choose wavelet turbulence. Wavelet turbulence parameters you can control in WTP section. Remember that increasing wavelet turbulence parameters produce better looking details, but also longer simulation time. So always start with lower values and increase these values only if it still produces less details than you expected. If you would like to simulate extra details, as next step you have to go to the general section. In general parameters section, you have control over simulation mode. And if you would like to simulate wavelet turbulence details, you have to switch from default to the wavelet mode. It will create different VDB simulation with extra details. That's the reason why in 3D viewport I am not able to see extra details yet. Because as you can see, Wavelet simulation is exported into the different VDB cache. So as next step, I have to change playback cache type from default to the wavelet cache. And now I can see how look simulation with extra details in 3D viewport. Once is your simulation done, apply Rechi volume shader and assign VDB channels as I explained already in Fume Effects Fire and Smoke Chapters. In Fume Effects General Parameters, you have control over cache type and VDB frame range as well. 
I'm sharing with you bunch of the scenes so you can check out scenes configuration, film effects parameters and volume shaders as well. Link you will find in video description.